My name is Ariana, and I'm a graduate and ambassador at Oaks University. I have decided to make this video in order to shed some light on what it's like to be an international student in Denmark. With this content, I aim to offer you a bit of guidance and inspire you to make the most out of this experience. So let's get started! The Danish culture is indeed one of a kind, so if you're doubtful about bonding with the locals, just keep in mind the following aspects. Be the one to make the first move. Danes don't really do it unless they know you, so if you really want to engage them in a conversation, just loosen up and be the one to approach them first. Also, be mindful of their personal space. You'll be noticing how important it is to them. Remember, don't take these sorts of things personally. It doesn't mean Danes don't like you. Just try to keep an open mind. When you're out and about, don't get anxious if someone approaches you and you don't speak Danish. Everyone here speaks perfect English, and what is more, Danish classes will soon be free again for international people. Moving on to the structure of your classes, many of the degree programs are structured into lectures and tutorials. The difference is that tutorial classes are very practical and much more private than lectures. These classes last for about two hours, and in that time you will get the chance to solve a bunch of exercises and ask your teacher for guidance. In what regards exams, they are meant to test your understanding of the subject and not your memory, so make sure to distinguish between the two. All the material you need for studying will be provided to you on Blackboard and in class, but it is 100% up to you to decide how much time you want to dedicate to the learning process. What is again amazing about the school is the opportunity to customize an entire semester to your liking. This is also done to help you decide what career path to pursue. Events such as company dating have the same aim, and I encourage you to check them out as you might land your dream job right there. Also, did you know that it is possible to become an ambassador at the university? This is an exciting opportunity to help with promoting the school to other international students through various marketing efforts and share your own insights as to what it's like to be studying at a top European school. Although Aarhus is not the biggest metropolitan area you know, it is full of amazing and fun places. Some of my favorites are listed here. I go out a lot to the board game cafe, where my friends and I play tons of games and enjoy a beer on a late afternoon. The student house right by the uni is where you can do a lot of volunteering and attend the best parties in town. Also, if you're a karaoke enthusiast, check out the Sherlock Holmes pub down in the city center. Studying at home or in school might get really tiring, so if you want a change of scenery but still want to feel the academic vibe, check out the Royal Library or Dok Wan. The latter has a very calming and beautiful view over the harbor and it's usually packed with students at all times. In the weekend, it is worth checking out Aladdin Quarter. That's where you'll find some of the greatest boutiques and coffee shops in Aarhus and also some of the oldest buildings in the city. For a smoother adaptation to the Danish life, I introduce you to some of the key apps that will definitely make your life easier. Anything important sent either from your bank or SU office will come on your e-box, so remember to check it regularly. In order to access your account, you will need your key card, which is also available as an app. For easy transactions, install your own bank's application and don't forget about mobile pay so that you and your friends can easily return each other's money after that Friday night party. If you love shopping, don't forget to get the Zalando app for that 10% student discount. Also, the best deals on meals come from Too Good To Go and if you really crave that tiramisu coffee, get the Espresso House app along with a lot of other hot deals. Another great thing about Aarhus is that you can travel anywhere using the public transportation. Rise to Planet and Google Maps are the best apps to plan your journey and tickets can be purchased using Mid Traffic. If you are in doubt about the location of your lecture hall, download AU Find and type in the 4 digit code of your specific building. Trust me, in the beginning of the first semester, this app is key to not being late to class. If you're still a bit skeptical about getting on a bus, try to buy a bike. It is by far the most popular way to get around, and the city's infrastructure dedicated to cycling is totally safe. And that's it! Hopefully you found it useful, and if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a great uni start, and be safe!